All right, Grandad. You're live on camera. Say something. You're doing that. What your best to do? This is Grandma's vacuum cleaner, and it makes this noise. So let's figure it out. Uh oh. Oh, that came apart pretty easily, just a few torques, something of the other screws on the bottom end. Looks pretty accessible. This thing is supposedly relatively new and it's been off service many times for this issue and uh, yeah, it does look pretty, pretty dirty in that heap of filter there, but let's give him the benefit of the doubt. So what's this look like? Violent. That's very violent. The fan must be touching the casing. I'm not certain how well that went on on camera because that just threw my arm all over the place. Yeah, the issue is definitely mechanical inside this unit, so yeah, we're gonna have to take that out. Jesus, that thing was about to fly out of a compartment. Mm, well, if we have a look down at the brushes there, this actually doesn't seem to have many hours on it because that rotor is practically brand new. All right, I got the motor out. You just undo a couple screws on this plastic cover and lift it out. And once you've done that, you just uh, unclip these two things. We're using brute force. We go like that clip. And uh, then everything just explodes on you. And I think I figured out the issue with this particular device. So immediately when we take this off, it's entirely covered in the soot and uh, uh, just a brush resi residue, uh, as is everything else. It's just entirely black and horrid, except for you can see on the stator there, uh, it's an absolute mirror finish where it, where the rotor has been rubbing against uh, the, this uh, stator coil pack, whatever you want to call it. And uh, uh, it will then have a feel on the actual rotor. That is giant play in the front bearing. Now that that would probably be somewhat acceptable, but I think this is a bit excessive. It's, it's just a bushing, probably, but yeah, that's moving like a lot. Really not good. It does spin well though, uh, but I think that's caused. It's probably not going to show up on camera, but it's caused the rear bearing, the rear bushing. To get entirely eaten. As you can see, it's oval. It's no longer round. So, that one's a goner, and you can see the brushes are just entirely destroyed. So, that's probably all this black stuff we see in the heap of filters, it's just uh, brush pieces, and I think that crap on top of that is probably brush pieces as well. So, yeah. We've just got an engine which has come with bad bearings from the factory and since it's apparently been serviced a few times what I reckon has happened is they've brought it in for warranted service, they've popped the motor, they've had a look, gone over, brushes are bad, swapped this part out, thrown it on its way and since we've got a bad front bearing it's just kind of eaten the rear bearing a couple of times and uh, that's it, now it's no longer in warranty. So there you go, this thing is crap. It's done for. I do like the way they've connected the motor though, because it's just uh, connected with these uh, spring contacts, which go against uh, uh, these contacts on the stator. So you just uh, kind of... Mm, yeah, it goes on there somehow. But it was really easy to just... You literally just lift it out with no contacts or wires to undo it. And further into the device, there's not really anything of interest. We're going to have a little tiny triac speed control somewhere under the top cover, feeding into that wire wind thing. It's just a vacuum. Yep, that's done for.